Van Dorn on pole, De Costa alongside him. And we go green in Sao Paulo. Down towards turn one and Van Dorn's got away nicely and Mitch Evans is coming on the right hand side in the Jaguar. Evans is trying to get second away from Antonio Felix De Costa. De Costa's got the inside though, holds that second place. They're side by side between Cassidy and Mortara. They make it safely through. It all gets a bit tight towards the back hole and there's contact. And that is Norman Nato. Norman Nato has gone into the back of someone and lost his front wing. But it is Van Dorn who manages to hold the lead. De Costa is up into second. Evans is third. Disaster for Nato. But Van Dorn has got away well at the head of the field. Still fighting as they come up towards turns four, five and six. De Costa did pretty well, Karun, to hold on to that second place. Yeah, Nato completely misjudged the speed of gap there. Oh, the other... Uh, yeah, the Andretti's car. broken and Mortara's broken too. So Mortara's got front wing damage. I think Lotterer might have suspension damage and possibly out of this one. Oh, there's contact in there, Buemi. Buemi has gone into the back, I think, of Max Gunter as they were fighting over ninth place. So Stoffel van Dorn in second place has activated his attack mode, his first attack mode, and he's activated it for one minute. So, uh, and here's a look at the jump that we've got here. Whoa, Cassidy! Is there going to be a move here into turn one? Stoffel van Dorn looking for the lead of the Epri. Down into the first corner and he's through. Stoffel van Dorn takes the lead. Van de Costa has gone past. So de Costa now back ahead of Cassidy. Here's side by side for second place. De Costa to the inside. And de Costa up into second spot ahead of Mitch Evans who drops down to third. So de Costa lost a couple of places and is now deciding to try and get them back. It's all kicking off here. De Costa's right behind Stoffel van Dorn now for the lead and here comes Cass. Cassidy to the inside, forces his way past Mitch Evans. The two Kiwis squabbling over the final podium position. And here comes Cassidy for the lead. Nick Cassidy hits the front and then side by side action further back because that's Gunter on the attack with the second of the McLarens of Rene Rast and Verline's in the middle of all that and that needs to be caught out. And Drew tries to not be caught out as Evans. Verline nearly getting hit there by Dennis, I think he did. I think Dennis went into the back of Verline, the top two in the championship came together. And where has that left Verline? Meanwhile, it's about a million for the lead up at the front. Van Dorn in the lead. Second is now Cassidy, and third is now Evans. Around the outside to try and get past the McLarens goes Max Gunter. No one wants to be in the lead of this race because you're losing so much energy, but Cassidy now decides he does. Cassidy in the envision goes to the front of the field. And there goes Cassidy through attack mode and Vern. So De Costa is back to the lead. Uh, sorry, Van Dorn, I should say. Cassidy and Van Dorn have both decided to use all of their attack modes and immediately they're side by side. And back ahead of Vern. De Costa goes through attack mode now, as does Mitch Evans. So the top two take attack mode. Cassidy then is back up into the lead of the race, but immediately the attack is on coming from Mitch Evans as he tries to get ahead of Van Dorn in towards turn four, five, and six, and he does it. So Evans activates attack mode and then is straight back up into third position. Plan A1, we don't go crazy. Plan A1. Well, we don't go crazy, but it's taking the lead of the race, Mitch Evans. So Evans gets ahead of Cassidy and back up to the front of the field. Oh, oh, lock up there for De Costa. He's gone straight and stop and go. So he that that is gonna cost him. De Costa's race is gone. And here comes Bird. Bird on Jean Eric Verne into turn one and he's through. Sam Bird, who we're riding on board with, needs to get past Vandor pretty quickly as he does now into turn one. If he if he gets a move on, maybe get himself into this fight. And it's three for the lead. Nick Cassidy, Mitch Evans, and Sam Bird. And Evans goes to the inside, and Evans takes the lead, does he? Gets it stopped, has a big slide, but it's through. Two more corners to go for Mitch Evans. Cassidy's right there. It's three for the lead with two turns to go in round six of the Formula E World Championship. And Cassidy sends it to the outside, coming into turn 10. It's bold, it's ambitious, and it doesn't come off unless he thinks about it in the final corner. It crossed his mind. He doesn't do it. The checker flag falls. Evans wins in Sao Paulo. Magnificent race. Magnificent win for Jaguar. It's a one, two, three for Jaguar powertrains. Top three.
three covered by half a second. Evans, Cassidy and Bird, the first time two New Zealanders have been on the podium together in Formula E. Antonio Felix da Costa finishing fourth, Vern fifth, Van Dorn starting on pole, finished sixth.